Don't get shy now, it's too late. <laughs> What's your name, love? Indigo. Indigo? Now I want y'all to know, my signature color is purple. It was meant to happen, y'all. It was meant to happen. Are you okay if I touch you? I promise I'll be gentle. Wait, you got a girl? Oh, she quiet on that one. Never mind, never mind. I don't need to know. <laughs> it don't matter. It's all for the show, okay? All right. All I'm going to do is speak a poem to you. I might get a little carried away and touch you here or there. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. I promise I won't strip her or anything. What I need you to do is stand right here and just relax. And I'm going to take my time with you. Is that all right? Okay. This next piece is called I'm Not a Writer. I love the shy ones. I am not a writer, but I have a vivid imagination, a knack for putting it into words and the words on paper. I can take you on trips to foreign lands, dining in the finest restaurants, and shopping in the most glamorous stores without spending a dime. I can get into your mind and stay there for days, weeks, and months at a time. I am not a writer, but I can finesse you, caress you, ingest you, and digest you without ever touching your skin. I can lick your nipples, suck your toes, and make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. I can suck your clit and finger you until you cry from the multiple orgasms that I provide. I can put you in more positions than the freakiest porno flick and we've never even met. My paper is my bed. My pen is my tongue. And my words are my sex toys. And I will fuck you as long as you want me to. I am not a writer, but I am a woman who loves words. An adoring fan of the alphabet and how well they get along. I am a freak. And I love the fact that I don't have to be a whore to make love to a room full of people at one time. I just did. But I am not a writer. I am an erotic poet. Peace, family. Yeah.